Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number eight, seven. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office, here to work as a Grim Reaper. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? To be honest, nobody asked for your opinion. You have been crafted for this job and I do not have the materials to make another spawn. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. I will show you your workplace right away. Follow me. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper.
What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster! Why, I was the very pirate king of lore, feared across the world. Even as I have grown most humble with age, I still carry within me glory days. I, you are visiting me ultimate dream, the Emporium. Browse at your will. Death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Regrettable, but also natural. You do this work for the greater good. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? To be fair, there was no best option. I felt like you needed an easy one to begin with. In the future, that is going to change. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, iron-clad law of cosmos. Question? Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines, and keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. How was the second day on the job? You do not seem to be enjoying yourself. No matter. It will pick up. So, did you follow the rules properly? Everything looks in order, as far as I can tell. And it is my job to tell these things. <laughs> Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Nope. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon.
Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Good. One has to focus on their tasks and avoid needless emotionality. It helps maintain composure in our stressful line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you send in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Okay, Grim, about your payment, which I may have forgotten about earlier. Yes, an unfortunate uh, oversight. Worry not. You will be getting back pay for the missing days. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is executed correctly. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Used to belong to the ruthless Corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. Mad Thad landed in their village, gathered up each and every one, sage and king and beggar alike, and let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. About half the civilization died that day, the rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then me crew laid upon Thad's war gallery near the gorge of the Telenor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, tis useful if ye can't decide what to eat for dinner.
What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Perhaps that is for the best. It may keep you connected to the world holding off the indifference. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Perhaps I... Um, no, never mind. I have not found a way around the tradition. And I have been here a long time. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you made? True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. 
The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. In all and in none, yes. Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk, a result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? Right, it has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service.
you want. A fresh-faced lemon head. Uh, exactly what I wanted to see today. Hey now, Gus, play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You want to ask questions or something? I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. Liquor, spirits, booze, fire water, rock gut. It's after something. Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage, straight to the floor. Yet yeah, you reapers hardly ever do. Always self-absorbed. Or could be at least a little more considerate. Gee, uh, thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. I welcome you to Cerberus's Den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the void. <laughs> I sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. You don't just dapper like the River Acheron. You have it screams vintage. So, how are you liking existence thus far? Ooh, rough. I imagine it ain't easy being a new Reaper. It's a difficult job, even on the best of days. But sometimes, we just gotta grit our teeth, buckle down, and sally forth. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little uh, game I play with every fresh-faced patron. It's real simple. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. Right, <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you react. I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. You are given the chance to level up one attribute of your character. Which aspect would you increase? Time for question number two get to cook for a group of friends, but are lacking some very important ingredients without which your meal will hardly be a masterpiece. From what little you can scrounge together, which will make the best topping for a pizza? Next up, question three. Almost there. Years of working a stable, albeit a monotonous office desk job, you are let go due to a corporate downsizing. This, however, has given you a chance to reinvent yourself. What will you become? Alright, final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs, right? You behold two doors. One plain and old, the other forged of gold. The old one seems to imply disgrace and shame. Golden Door cries of nobility and grandeur. It's up to your brave soul to make the first choice. Which door will you enter? We got it. Let me just calculate the results. We'll take but a moment. <laughs> hmm. Leans to stability. Prone to conformity. Mm-hmm. I've got the appropriate concoction in mind. Let's start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin, one centiliter of elderflower liqueur, one centiliter of sugar syrup, two deciliters of club soda. Splash in some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well-smashed cucumber and some cubed ice. <laughs> the quiz tells no lie. I think a suitable name would be... Bore hole. First one's on the house.
second understatement of the century. Now what else can I get you? Au revoir, Lil Reaper. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? Exactly. You and I are on the same page. We all do what is necessary, even if it makes us suffer. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Off you go now, Grim. Good night.
Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see more people died than required. It does not bode well for the evaluation, but such is death. Let us get started. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right, looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Of course, we do it for the excitement of paperwork. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. One gets used to them, if in the right mindset. Fret not. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim.
I, I know what you're thinking. I do provide ancient powerful widgets. Avast! This tale is beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. And you know what? Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> Amazing little thing. Oh, tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood washed ashore from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covered it in all gold, too, coarse. I, a proper beauty. That's exactly the question, ain't it? Nothing to lose, I'm afraid. You might be gaining something instead. We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are Angst Ex Milio. We are nothing, a despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray, if only you learn to listen. We are death. How does it feel? Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? Be seeing you, Reaper. It's a grim world out there. Grim. Ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately, and all that. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. Hmm. Okay, listen up and keep this to yourself. Some physicist is about to push a cart of unusual and hazardous material into the beam of a spectrometer. I have to see if this causes a cascade reaction of some sorts. It may prove illuminating. Anyway, <clears throat> while I am gone, another will be in charge. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. Why, you are already acquainted. It will be Lady Poddington, of course.
Friend, your visit's like the sun. Regular. And warms the room. Face your eyes upon this spiky boy. You wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of Cacti. Just to get me flanges on one of these. Finally unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. It did not start there, however, you see. Tis a traveling cactus. Ye never see it move, but boy does it get around. <laughs> Perhaps he requires a delightful gift for a significant friend. Shiver me timbers, tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details, but since he wished to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. <laughs> 